you're here in the nomadic community centre and what better place to sing. Now you're here and now you're gone. And now you're back where you belong. Meet the wizard of the keys and he will reveal the heart, uh, mysteries of angels, X and octave doctors. Ready, help me out lads. Help and me. love Ready. projectors. Now you, you, yeah, I think okay, you've pa you may have passed the audition because that's the one I never enjoyed singing. Never really? enjoyed singing really that works. one, yeah. What about so, have but a cup we, of tea? So we, we have had another to... one. Have a cup of tea. That, that one was so sort of exclusive to David uh, and, and the way he sang that I, I struggled with that one. So we had to have different people coming on to sing that one. Should have been you. I know. Now I know. Here with two members of uh, the current incarnation of Gong, Carver Strabi and Hi. Dave Sturt. And I've noticed in the lineup there's no Tim Blake. There's a, there's a spot open. And, and I might be buying a, a modular synthesizer, so perhaps I can come in. I think you could come in. You could come in. I'm sure we could find a Steve a Davis shaped hole. Have another one. Have a cup of tea. I know they're, they're the words. Right, they're definitely the right age demographic. I think you could make this work. The new album, Rejoice I'm Dead. Sadly, the passing of David Allen and Jilly Smythe has meant that there is no longer any history lineage in the band. Well, there is in that we also have uh, we have Didier Malherbe just guesting on two of the songs. Wow! And he is kind of, you know, from the very very early days of Gong, nineteen sixty eight was it sixty nine? He got involved. So. Steve Hillage. Steve, Steve Hillage, Hillage is well. on there. He came a bit later. So there is. And uh, yeah, who else is on there? Uh, Graham Clark. He's from a much later. Rent, uh, so basically, I've just talked a lot of rubbish. And also, we had you know we had been on the the, the previous Gong album. I mean, Dave has been in Gong. I've been in Gong for now. seven years now. So it's even more rubbish. Yeah, kind but, of rubbish. Yeah. But there again, let's face it, lads. And I'm not trying to set my stall out here. If it wasn't for me, Gong wouldn't exist. Now, now, let, just let me explain and make my case here, right? Because uh, the interesting alternative radio show uh, that I started off. Uh, that Carver Strabi, uh, leader, Hi. lead singer, that the, the new the new David Allen would that be a fair? I think unfair. Unfair thing just, to say, of yeah. course, puts it on you. Uh, came on board, and we now do the interesting alternative show together. And one of the shows we had was with David Allen. But um, uh, you, if you remember, that was due to me because since I phoned you up to get some interviews signed up for David That's Allen hurt, in right? 2012. So in fact, it was Did my that sting? idea. Did that sting? But you did contribute, I have to say. Thank you for that. So you're saying that you're the reason why Gong is now... I am absolutely the reason why you two guys are sat here at the moment and that Gong is now continuing, I think, really, to be honest. And I thought it was me that had put Carvus and David Allen well, together. you did inadvertently. You were the cog. You were the cosmic Dave, cog, David right? Allen, and yeah, for the 2012 tour that Gong did, uh, David Allen was coming over from Australia and I decided to... Uh, help out and get some interviews sorted for him. And one of the uh, people I contacted was the interesting alternative radio show. And I remember expecting a producer to get back to me to say, yeah, this sounds like an interesting idea. Producer. But then I was at a family party and, uh, and you phoned me up. But I was on a very difficult shot when David phoned me really? and said I can, and put me completely off. You know? really? <laughs> I think it was probably David's master plan that we all got together. It feels um, that way, I have to say, it really does. And here but we I'm are a bit now. upset, I'm not in the band. Well, I think we can well, do we that. Can, we'll record. sort that out, Steve. Yeah, OK. Well, just a triangle. Keep, you just get practising. You know, you... So anyway, like, without... Uh, you know, the, the, the latest album, Rejoice I'm Dead, is absolutely... I mean, it's, it's absolutely... Um, well, it's out. It's out, isn't it, now? I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's out, out there, out. yeah? It's pretty much out there, yeah. If you haven't heard it, uh, and if you haven't heard it, it is brilliant, and it's, it's getting rave reviews, but it's got the spirit of Gong. Well, we'd hope so. It I mean, you which know. is tough to do without, you know. Well, I, I we, didn't, we didn't have to try, though. It's kind of there within us. It feels like we know we didn't set out to say, right, we've got to try and make a gong sounding record. It just felt like these five guys getting together. That's what that's the noise we came out with, really, to be fair. I mean, it's, you know, it's a, sort of growing up on gong and it's, you know, you're, you're always aware of, you know, it's, the sort of the general sound of the general ballpark of gong. But I think it's gone. It's maybe gone to places where Gong hasn't been before, but I mean, you've, all, you've always got to sort of do that, um, being very aware of, well, does this sound like Gong? There were certainly points, you know, places we went where we thought, yeah, this is a brilliant, but it doesn't feel like Gong. But there are places that we went to where Gong had maybe never gone before, but we just thought, yeah, this seems, this seems like the right thing to do. And you're like, obviously touring. What an experience to go out on the road as Gong. 
and yeah. get and get the acceptance because that seems to be what's happened. There was obviously that period of time after David passed away that you decided you had that decision to make whether you continued or not. Oh, well, I mean, I think the thing it comes down to. Well, we just to sort of clarify, we had to, um, you know, we had to honour this tour when David was still alive, and uh, and do the band this way. And we just thought, well, we'll just do that tour and then that'll be that. But it, it felt so exciting and good that we, you know, we wanted to carry on. David was very keen for us to carry on. And we were all pretty sceptical about <coughs> it beforehand. But then after that tour, we thought, well, this yeah. is something really exciting. We can do this. And then, you know, um, then we did another tour. And I think the thing was that there's always going to be a contingent of people that think, well, no David, no Gong. And they've got every right to think that, you know, and uh, absolutely. But um, they've gone now. They're not going to come and see us. They're not particularly going to listen to the record. And I mean, when faced with the choice of, well, do we carry this thing on, which is what David wanted, um, and it's what, you know, Steve Hillage wanted, and, um, you know, Mike Howlett wanted, and everyone who'd heard it wanted us to do, or do we not carry it on because a few of grouchy people who have said, no, David, no gong, regardless that this was David's wish, well, of course we carry it on. And it, it, it genuinely felt like, you know, that we were doing the right thing and that what we were doing you know, felt very, very much in the spirit of Gong, as, as Gong fans ourselves, you know. And there's obviously the possibility, as a result of new people, that it's not easy to get younger people to listen to music of, of, of this style, but anybody that's never heard the old Gong mm. might listen to the brand new stuff in the right environment and then Indeed. go back in time as well. So what a history and a legacy. Exactly, yeah, 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 yeah. We are obviously continuing the legacy, but this is kind of a new band, and, and but it's... Uh, since several of us have been involved for such a long time anyway, it, it, it does feel like a continuation. I mean, why shouldn't we carry on with it? I mean, Gong's always been a, a collective of musicians that constantly change, so. Are you, uh, are you setting up in the woods? I mean, we're here in a place that you could possibly set up home in this wonderful environment. Could you not have a Gong community here? In the old fashioned way, that back in the France, in the, in the woods? A commune. Basically, commune. whatever it takes at this stage. I mean, would you, would you be our sort of guru? I can be the guru, but I want, the, I want I in the, the band. Guru. I want in the band. Well, I, I think you should be the. Well, you know, but you know, you know bands. Like, but you know, bands have gurus. That. Um, yeah, you, you just want me as a, fi a figurehead. I don't want to be a figurehead. If I. Could you hold a staff? You know, like if you. I can see you with a staff. I've no. seen you with a cue. I can see you with a staff. <laughs> well, the person who had the cricket bat and the stumps. That's going to be the song owned, title. Owned the game, right? Back in the day, as kids, if you had the stumps and the cricket bat and the ball. When you decided it was time to go home, you took the stumps and you went home, right? Okay. Yeah. If I get the synthesizer, right? Yeah. Then basically I am gone. Yeah, I know, but that's true. Because you can't do that tricky bit. You can't do the tricky well. bits anymore. Yeah, but we don't. Well, if we had the staff with the crystal in it, David never had a crystal, did no, he? No, but you. But you're going to be the figurehead. You've got to cut through new ground here, Steve. You've got to forge your head. Do I have to set up a teepee here? If you want to. Okay. okay. Since you've been on the road, uh, it's gone because I saw the last uh, tour with was ICU. Was uh, and ha what's the reception been like? Mental, amazing, oh, wonderful, really, really Beautiful. strong. Everywhere we've played has been fabulous. Really, really, uh, it's weird, really. It's good, but I guess there's a certain chemistry. Is there a chemistry? Is that what they say? They. They. Say. They say there's a chemistry. They say yeah. there's a chemistry set. There's a thing. How are you getting on learning the words? Very badly. I think you're getting better. Oh, I'm getting better. Yeah, no, getting better. Yeah. <clears throat> could you sing? Could you sing? Could you do a little, no. little a cappella version of, uh, of uh, oily white? Oh, 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 one of your favourites. Go on. Do, do I have to? I sung one. No, I know, but. No, go on. Bloody hell. Don't, don't make well, it. Well, do do. Uh, no, I wouldn't make you do that. I can't do. Do have it. a cup of tea. No, you you have one. No, I'm not doing it. No, you do it. <laughs> you're musicians. I'm not a real musician. I'm just. You, but this is, your this is your edition. You're going to be on BVs, right? No, I'm on uh, synths. No, synth Not even vocal do backing though? vocals as well. That's part of the deal. Could you, would you strap one on and come down the front? Well, I what? Strap one on. Mm. Tim Blake's strapping one on at the moment. Is he? Strapping it right on. Mm. Not sure. You've got to do it. Mm. Well, I'll be, can I be on the album? Just a, yeah. a name check. Sure. Steve Next Walker. Album. Steve Walker, sure, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we, we, did, we went to a DJ and recently we went down to Green Man Festival and yeah, the girl yeah. on the gate wouldn't let us in and the taxi driver says Steve Davis in the back and then she's got on the face she's gone I've got, a, got a, somebody, called, somebody called Steve Walker <laughs> I want a name check Steve Walker you're going to be Steve no, Walker can, can that, that could be your gong name right albums out on vinyl oh yeah CD 
Uh, oh yeah. Yeah. And MP3. special edition. There's a special edition. What is it? CD with a surround sound mix and an extras disc, which has got some uh, some recordings, uh, like a rehearsal recordings of me and him. First time we met. The first rains time come down, together. Guru. What do we do? We. Uh, it rains, Guru. It rains. It never rains on Gong. I don't f actually feel like I'm part of the, the band at all. I think you're just humouring me because uh, there you are in your psychedelic shirts. Like this, is, this is complete psychedelic Yeah, right. We had, no, we've never I, discussed this. I'm not psychedelic enough, am I? Well, not at the moment, but we've worked on it, Stephen. You know, well, I think in, in your mind you're psychedelic enough, and that's really where that's the only thing that matters. Yeah, maybe, maybe. that's where it matters. Yeah. I'm just putting it out there. Uh, for the fans. I mean, it is the mind, the mind revealed. Putting it out there for the fans um, as something that I think to give revealed. back to the fans. When I first, the first album I ever bought was Camembert Electric. The revealing of the mind. But Virgin Records put it out for 59 pence. They did. Yeah, and I'm one. asking from the bottom of my heart and for Gong fans all over the world, could you not put this album out? For 59 pence as a lost leader because oh, in a way that is music now it's been i think that's what it's worth it's probably going to be out there for free within a week of it being released anyway so, so what can we do, what do you mean a week of it it's already, it already is i mean yeah, the record label know. would they mind i oh, dare say they, they say they say they wouldn't say they say they wouldn't mind so much well that's good really? the mind revealed they wouldn't mind revealed and all of your all of the artistic Merit and stuff you put in would be boiled down to 59p. Yeah, I mean, it will. Can you, can you handle that? Well, I can certainly handle this better than usual. It's good. I love the album, by the way. Thanks, man. You know. I mean, just uh, trying to do the right so thing. Good. Just out of interest, and I don't want to start causing an argument here, and a few of the lads are not here, input wise. Oof. How does it work? You've got, you've got to create a gong sound, right? You've got to make it gongy. Which is a, is that in the thick? Is that is that allowed at Scrabble? You've got it, to make it, it gongy, right? No, no, it's out there. It is. Yeah. How do you then? Are you all having arguments in there? How's it going? We had very few arguments. Nah. As it came to. But, they were, but they were bitter, the ones that we had, Oof. and they lasted about five or six days. <laughs> but there was only about two or three. I mean, it's about three weeks worth of arguing. So, yeah. Talk me through. Talk me through one of the tracks. How it all sort of pans out. Well, it usually starts off with a track two. Up. Track two. What's and, track two um, called? Track two is called Rejoice. Talk me through track two. How did Rejoice it pan out? Started, um, That's a Rejoice thing. started. I suppose with me, you, and Ian. Did it? Yeah. It was a sort of. Oh, it is pretty no, boring. No, no, that, that one, no, that one came together in rehearsal. Room. You, no, you, it, you, it, it started a. Uh, get that, get that, get that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The hockey. That we yeah, did, did the hockey. Did. Yeah, uh, yeah, that came together. Oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry. The unspeakable. <laughs> sorry, are we boring? Yeah. No, I'm just not. Just that. Well, you know, they just we just you know how it comes together. These things, they just they happen. You know. They, were, they, 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 are, they are born out. They are born out of something. It did feel. I mean, I, my question to you, sorry, Dave. That's all right. My question to you is: if there is no such thing as free will, which is looking quite likely that there isn't, and we're merely a series of, I suppose, our genes are dictating as much. I mean, for instance, if you're a psychopath, right? And I mean, if I had the psychopath brain, I would be a psychopath. I mean, I couldn't help that. You can't help the psychopath. He's, he's born with the psycho... He or she is born with the psychopath brain. Don't tell Lord Longford that. So by the same token, who can help? Five people with these genes will just produce it. It was always going to sound this way. There was really no... I mean, if we were to repeat the process, the same thing would happen a million times, doubtless. Do you think you could create this album without... If there even is such a thing as time. ...without any gong records before it? Would well, it come out all... anything like this? Well, they happen at the same time. I mean, if, if we establish that there's no such thing as time, then I think they're all happening at once. So in that respect... Not that old chestnut. <laughs> in that respect, <laughs> it's, it's part of a singularity. How do you reckon the, the hardcore gong fans from the Angel's Egg... going to hate it. ...flying teapot? They're going to love it, yeah. They're going to hate it. They're going to... They're going to hate it. They're probably quite like... Probably hate it. They love it, I think. How do you think Matthew Wright, the well-known gong fan, is going to... He's going to love it. He's going to love this. Gonna love it. He already loves it. I think he will love it. I think he, oh, well, he, he hasn't heard it yet. It, he, he loves the idea of it. it. I mean, that's half the battle, right? Yeah. If you like the idea of something... I think the real hardcore gong fans, if you call them hardcore, the ones that uh, were from the 70s, 
will like this album more than I See You. Most of them are dead, probably. Oh, well, that's harsh. I know, it's unfortunate, but that's just <laughs> that's the way harsh. It, that's life. And some, some of them can't was. remember the ICU <laughs> album, and it's already gone. Yeah, we did have many, many, uh, when we played in Norway last year, we had many guys coming. We'd, we'd seen the band in 1974, or as claimed they had, and, uh, and thought that we were actually better than they, uh, we were in 1974. Take, take that 1974, which, is, which was nice. But, um, well, but you know, I think, I think they, will, they will see the, uh, the continuation, the, the legacy that, that we're, we're developing, I guess. <coughs> but they will also appreciate the fact that we're taking it. In sport, everything improves. Technical ability in golf, snooker, uh, darts, everything yeah, improves. What about musicianship? Do you, think, do you think you're better musicians than the, the people that you're now pretending to be? No. 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 You know, pretending to be. He slipped that in there. Did you hear that? He <laughs> slipped that in. Right are you a better bass head, guitarist yeah. than? Are, are you a than better? Are you a better gliss, gliss yeah, guitarist? Fabio's a better gliss man. Oh, is he the gliss man? Obviously, the gliss man. Yeah. Well, I said to David at the, in the out, I can't play guitar like Steve Hillage, you know. And he said, I'm, you know, I'm not interested in what you can't do, I'm interested in what you can do. Oh, I can't that one. That, that classic, you know, I can't. Uh, Dave, Dave said, hey, look, we're doing our thing. Yeah, well, when, <laughs> I, doing when, our thing. when, when I got get involved... Get off our cakes, man. <laughs> we're doing our thing. It was clear when, when I got involved that I wasn't expected to sound like Mike Howlett. I was expected to bring something to it. So, uh, oh, that, yeah, right, OK, yeah. I mean, the important thing is that I've got a fancier guitar than Steve Hillage, right? Mm. I mean, he's got that little one there, and I've got that big one yeah. with, like, jewels and colours on it. Although, do you think it's right for... Do you think it's right for Gong, that hey, guitar? Mike, our rules. Oh, I see you're making it... Our rules, it? back off. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, right. Don't fence us in, Daddy-o. Back off, our rules, yeah? <laughs> a poignant, a little question. How do you think David's up there in, uh, on Planet Gong at the moment, looking down, do you think he's proud of this album? I think he would be. I think if he was alive, he would be. I think, I think he loves it. I mean, there's a whole debate. It's called Rejoice, I'm Dead. Now there's a whole debate on them, um, which, we're, which we're not going to have. He does appear on the album, here Spectrally. and there. Spectrally. And, uh, yeah, and that seems to fit very nicely. Yeah, he'd love it. He was, we were, he was prancing around the rehearsal room while we were writing the material. Virtually, it was really, really, really oh. delightful. I thought he was. <laughs> he just didn't have eyes to see it. Really, the third eye. You should have. You should have worn this. I know the the, prof the professorial uh, spectacles. Psychedelic spectacles. The third eye saw it. The third yeah. eye sees all. Good luck with it. Yeah. Hope it goes well. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, That's Steve. Very kind, Steve. Yeah. Uh, do I get the money now? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs>